far from nature in the nature island click that thumbs up button we're on lockdown and there's nothing to do Yeah, I know that there are a lot of people that watch my channel and they don't understand nothing that I have to say. Seriously. They don't understand nothing that I have to say. And I can't blame you guys. It just, you know, it's just a lot of people right now are blinded. That's because they are so far gone. They, they are so far gone away from the truth. And they are so far gone away from them, their own self. And they are so far gone away from... I can't believe that we're living in the nature island of the Caribbean. And the majority of people are far away from nature. It's strange. We can't be living in the nature island of the Caribbean. And, of, and the majority of people are far away from nature. I just come out and take a shower. You know, I just, I'm just get myself ready to go to work. And, um, you know, in my last video, I was saying that I don't use deodorant, you know, and people find it strange that I don't use deodorant. And that doesn't mean that I smell in, and that doesn't mean that I doesn't use something to help me with odor. Because, you know, and naturally, I don't really have much odor. That's because I try not to put too much nonsense into my body. You understand? I, I try not to eat too much old food that's going to allow me to perspire that awful scent. You know, and... and yeah, and let me just show you what I use. Something so basic, and that's the main ingredients. All right, this is it? Almond hammer baking soda. That's all I use. Basically, what I do, I just I just sprinkle a little bit in a spoon like this. You know, I open the pipe, I dab my hand with some water, right? And I just I just dip my finger in it like this, yeah. And I pass this under my arm, and I just pass this under my arm. Very easy. And I'm telling you, I cannot be for two, three days and I will not get an, an odor under my arm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's the magic of baking soda. You understand? I don't see why, why I have to go about buying so many, so much strange chemicals to put under my arm, smelling sweet, smelling strange. You know, and, and at the end of the day, before the end of the day, then under my arm is already stinky. You understand? And then again, at the time I used to use those things, I wasn't eating so right. I wasn't eating the, the, the right foods, you know? And I can't believe, right, we're living in this day and age, in this information age, and people still go about eating strange foods, man. Strange foods, fake foods, GMO foods, you know, chemi chemi chemically... <laughs> Look, I bite in my tongue there, you know. But yeah, you know, people, people be eating so many strange foods, doing so many strange things. I, ju I just can't understand it, you know. Yeah, so, and, and it's very similar what I use to brush my teeth. You know, yeah, I already brushed my teeth. I already made my, my toothpaste to brush my teeth. But I'm just going to break this down for you as to what I use to make my toothpaste. Basically, I use the same product, Almond Hammer Baking Soda. Let me just show that to you guys. Yeah, let me just show you guys what I use. And it's going on three years since I've been doing this. Three years since I've, I've, I've never bought any roll-on, you know. I, I, I mean, I can't say it have been three years since I've been brushing my teeth with this because... I've been shuffling around to find the best the best solution to brush my teeth and it's been a, it's been about a year now since I've actually started using this method to brush my teeth and it works excellent you know and I know my teeth might not be so so white it's it's off white right now but I don't, I don't think everybody but everybody teeth is meant to be white you know there are some people that white in their teeth you know teeth teeth on a whole is not really meant to be white if you really look at your teeth it's it's off white it's yellowish you know, even if it doesn't have any 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 plaque on there, it's not it's not totally white. And when your teeth is totally white, then you know something might be wrong. All right. What I have, right? Basically, what I have here, it's it has solidified, and that's what happens. You know, I take a tablespoon of baking soda, right? About a tablespoon of baking soda, I put it in this, and then I take two tablespoons of of coconut oil. You don't want to to use the refined coconut oil. All right. You don't want to use that refined coconut oil where everything has basically been removed from the coconut oil. So I take two tablespoons of coconut oil, some um, virgin coconut oil, preferably. You know, you take two tablespoons of coconut oil. I put this in there. I put. I take. I take a teaspoon of half a teaspoon. About half a teaspoon of salt. I put this in there, and I take about four drops of hydrogen peroxide, between four and six drops of hydrogen peroxide, and I put that in there, and I mix that all up. And that's what I brush my teeth with. The first time I, I do it, it, it will be it will be liquefied, and then and once I come back and use it later in the afternoon, it's solidified like how like how it's looking there right now. And I just dip my I already brush my teeth, and I just dip my toothbrush in this, 
and I brush my teeth with it. You know, it makes it makes cheem just like just like just like the ordinary call get a toothpaste. You understand? And and it works for me. You know, the thing is the thing is, yeah. Most of the products that they let us use, right? It's it's not it's not good for us. You know, it it blocks some form of our functionality. You know, a lot of people say that it blocks off your food eye. You know, most of the things that they make us do on a daily basis, like like for instance, they tell us that we have to brush our teeth every day. You know, we have to brush our teeth every day, three times a day, twice a day, or whatever. Once in the morning, once in... Or some people brush their teeth every time they eat something and they use that fluoride toothpaste, you know, which is detrimental to our health, to our brain, to our functionality. It doesn't allow us to function effectively, you know. Some of you might not believe it. Some of you might think it's, think it's crazy. It's just like, it's just like they, they, they want us to have mandatory... I mean, water is good, right? You know, having tap bone water is good. But all those things is a plan of an agenda. You will never believe it. A place like Dominica, there are 365 rivers, they say, right? You know, every home has, a, has need, need to have water in it. There was, there was a bunch of taps. Well, thank God for the corona. The, it allowed the corona, the corona, let me tell you, the corona, let me tell you, let's say that corona thing. The corona thing is, is, is both a blessing and a curse, you know? They had all, there was a lot of pipes in Roseau, right? And they remove it because they want to ensure that everybody has water at their home. So they, re they removed all the pipes in Roseau, right? So that, so that they, they want to force you to get water at your home. Whereas a lot of people would go down to the river and, and so on, right? And this is just all a part of, of an agenda to allow people to have that thing in their home. So that people are always exposed to the water in the pipe. And the water in the pipe, it has a lot of chlorine and it has a lot of fluoride in it. The same thing that's in the toothpaste. The same thing that's in the toothpaste and it's, it's messing up your functionality. You know? Some people say that it closes your, your, your third eye. I don't, I don't know if anybody here believes in third eye or, or your pineal gland. It calcifies your pineal gland. You know? And, and that is what that gives you your creative intuition, I would say. You know, and you cannot really be the person that, that you should be when you indulge in all these things. It's in, it's in the toothpaste and it's in 95% of the food products that they give you in the supermarket. 95%. You know, so 95% of the foods that we eat is detrimental to our health in, on a deep level. And don't take my word for it. You do your own research. You understand? And right now, 2020, the truth is being revealed more than ever. A lot of people are beginning to wake up. And I can't believe that there are so many people who watch my videos and they, they barely understand what I have to say. They barely understand the things that come up from my mouth. You know? You know, I talk a lot about a lot about developing yourself, you know. And 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 saving that money, you know, and investing and being productive with your life. You understand? And, and the reason why most people are not productive is because of the things that they indulge in on a regular basis. They cannot, they cannot tap into their creative abilities, into their natural powers that God has given them. They cannot tap into those things, you know? They cannot develop a sense of faith, you know? They, 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 it's, it's like hopeless, you know? And I don't really want to get so much in depth, you know? But yes, I just basically wanted to show you guys what I used to brush my teeth and what I put under my arm, you know, basic, 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 basic. And it just so happened that doing those things have allowed me to, to save a lot of money because let me tell you, one of these baking soda, right? One of these baking soda, this thing cost me, what about, what about $3? And this thing lasts me a whole year. If I, if I only brush my teeth, let me tell you, I do almost everything in this baking soda. That's the main ingredients. All right. Are you... I also use this baking soda to wash my hair, you know. I use baking so apple cider vinegar, pure apple cider vinegar, natural organic apple cider vinegar and baking soda. This, this, this is the product that I use to wash my hair, you know. I put a cup of this, you know, and about four tablespoons of this baking soda, you know, and it fees up and then I wash my hair with it for a really deep cleanse. You know, other than that, I just use... I just use our, our ordinary blue soap to wash my hair. So as far as being clean, that's it, that's it. this is my main ingredients right here. Baking, that's a natural product, by the way. It's a natural product, baking soda. That, 
that's my main ingredients right there. So I use baking soda for everything. Baking soda to wash my hair, baking soda to brush my teeth, baking soda to put under my arm. And this keeps, this keeps me clean. Not only so, the type of foods that I eat also keeps me clean. Because it's better to clean inside than try to clean outside. You understand? If you clean inside, then whatever that happen that happens inside will eventually show itself outwardly. You know? And it's good to take some sun. You know? Get out in the sun and let the sun heat your skin. And trust me, I have saved quite a lot of... As I was saying, this is only $3. This is, this is a little expensive in Dominica, right? As, as we know, you know Dominica expensive already. This is a little expensive in Dominica, so not much people can actually afford this, you know? So I'm good that I have a little extra cash that I can buy this apple cider vinegar. But, but the inorganic one can work as well, but it's, it, it wouldn't work as, as, as best, you know? And, and this is also a very healthy vinegar. I, I put this in my salad, you know? Sometimes I just take a shot out of it, put a little portion in, a, in a, about a tablespoon, and I just... I just take a shot of it like a little shot you know that's that's like my alcohol but it's important to take care of yourself you know get to know get to know about yourself some people doesn't know what some people have never some women you know if all if you if you are a lady listen to this right now some women out there never it's been years they have seen what they really look like years they have seen what they really look like years they have ever seen the texture of their hair you know years they have ever seen the real texture of their skin you understand because because they have never taken care of themselves for many many years some of them since they're little girl they've been wearing makeup can you see that's an agenda to let you think that feel like it like like you're not good enough you know to not allow you to enjoy your natural beauty they bring out makeup you know it's everything is you know and and they bring out fake hair so that you don't enjoy your natural hair you know but we need to wake up people we need to wake up we can't be in the nature island of the caribbean and be so off, far away from nature we are far away from nature in dominica nature island of the caribbean you guys should be ashamed of yourself some of you don't even know how to plant a fig tree some of you don't even know how to plant anything a lettuce a cabbage you know some of you like those things and some of you don't even know how to plant it you know you don't know how to grow your own food and you're in the nature island of the caribbean that's a shame of you it's a shame, but believe me, let me tell you, some of you think it's going to get easier. It's not going to get easier, you know. Very soon they're going to have mandatory vaccines, you know, because definitely the world is not going, getting any better, you know. Babylon is falling. <laughs> the scripture tells you that they will fall, you know, and now is their time to fall. And, and in falling, they're going to want to bring down quite a lot of people with them. So if you're in tune with, with this system, then you're going to fall with this system. So you have to get away from this system so that you don't fall. Learn how to grow your own food. Eat healthy. Stop indulging in, into the demonic products that Babylon produced for you. Get in tune with yourself. Get in tune with nature. Get in tune with God, you know. The thing is, some of you eat too, way too much food, man. Some of you eat way too much food. They teach you that we have to eat three meals a day. Some of you eat ten meals a day, right? Three meals is already too much, and some of you eat 10 meals a day. You eat way too much food. There's no way your body can function with all this food. The only thing that your body can function with is trying to get rid of all the, of all the mucusy food that you, enter, that you put in your body. Because there's no way you're going to eat natural foods 10, 10 times a day. The only food that you're going to be addicted to eating 10 times a day is, is the addictive GMO foods. The unnatural foods. That's the only foods that you're going to be able to eat 10 times a day. If you're eating natural, you're barely going to be eating. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're barely going to be eating food. You understand? You are barely going to be eating food if you're eating natural food. You know? Because your body is not going to always feel for the natural food. In fact, the natural food is going to sustain your body for a much longer period. I eat one meal a day, people. One meal a day for the most part. You know? I, barely, I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat lunch. And I barely eat throughout the day. You know, and I, I, for, the, for the most part, I eat when the sun is going down. That's the time I eat. That's the time I eat when the sun is going down. During the day, the sun is my source of energy. For the most part. Sometimes I just eat, I eat a, a snack or two just for the pleasure of it. Just for the pleasure of it. Not because I'm hungry or anything like that. Just for the pleasure of it. But some of you eat way too much food. You know, way too much food and way too much junk food. That's, that's the problem with most of you far from nature in the nature island believe me when i say that a lot of people are depressed because of it 
far from nature in the nature island a lot of people are depressed because of the distance that they they have the how far they have gone away from nature a lot of people experiencing stress and anxiety and depression because of how far they have gone away from nature believe you me if you want to get rid of your anxiety your your depression get more in tune with nature nature naturally gets rid of, of depression it, get, it gets rid of depression it gets rid of stress it gets rid of anxiety get more in tune with nature you know some of you are going to be checking out forms of psychiatric medications and all those things that that's killing your brain get more in tune with nature people get more in tune with nature we cannot be living in the nature island of the caribbean and and we're so far away from nature that does, it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense whatsoever any sense check this out traffic like crazy yeah some of you are lacking productivity that's because you're far away from nature nature is the answer nature has the answer for almost everything believe it or not every invention known to man was derived out of something that already exists in nature you know because really and truly invention is a way of the devil mimicking what the creator has already done that's the main purpose of invention you know because the devil wants to be he wants to be like the creator but you see he doesn't have the ability to create things out of nothing so he has to mimic the majority of what nature has to offer you know to gain control of the masses the majority of the technology that we have today you know is as a result of the devil trying to mimic something that's already in nature just think about it just think of any technology that you can think of the computer the computer is the devil trying to mimic what man's mind is capable of our minds are supercomputers and a computer basically mimics the functionality of, of, of man but yet still a lot of people will, will believe that yeah I, I got cut off because of that traffic yeah I don't be in traffic for almost 20 minutes already yeah it's interesting the nature island of the Caribbean I don't have AC, so I have to be taking in that that toxic exhaust exhaust fumes, you know. We need to get back in tune, people. I just don't understand Dominicans. Every new fast food place that open, they, they run in, they jump in on board. Yeah. I see a new place open the other day selling selling some kind of a roll up ice cream and some kind of a waffle poisonous food. You know? And people just flock into this place. Yeah. I don't know how Dominicans everything they, they just like food. I don't mind if it's a healthy food. I'm I'm sure. I'm a hundred percent sure. That if a vegan restaurant open in Dominica. That you barely gonna see people patronize. It no matter how much they, they advertise it. You barely gonna see people patronize. Because people just don't, don't know what's good for them. People don't know what's good for them. I'm telling you, people don't know what's good for them. I'm sure of it. If I open a rest a, 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 a fast a, a, a vegan restaurant in Dominica right now, I'm not gonna get limited sales. I'm sure. I don't know for now, you know, the COVID, the COVID situation have, have a lot of, have a lot of, change a lot of people's mindset, change a lot of people's way of thinking. You know, so a lot of people maybe, may, may tend to maybe go patronizing just because of that. You know, a lot of people tend to, tend to want to, want to eat healthy lately. A lot of people, but still such a few. We really need to get back into new nature. We cannot be in Dominica, in the nature island of the Caribbean. And okay, guys, so my phone memory just, well, it died on me and I couldn't really continue recording. I had to wait until I reached to the office to delete some memory and I really can't remember where I was, really. But anyway, the main, the main focus that I, that I want you guys to, to, the main thing that I want you guys to take into consideration is that you're not, you need to get back to nature. We cannot be living in Dominica 
the nature island of the Caribbean and the majority of us are way far from nature so get back to nature people thank you guys for watching this has been your man uprising and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out yeah and don't forget to like and, and subscribe come on come on it's about time that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel I mean some of you just be watching these videos and and taking in all the information and you do subscribe and you know showing no form of support it will really be appreciated I'll really appreciate it if you show some form of sup support and subscribe to my channel and in the meantime click one of those videos that's gonna pop up on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next one click that thumbs up button we're on lockdown and there's nothing to do